brothers and sisters of the celestial energy. And there's some powerful celestial energy that's coming down to our planet, that's coming up through the ground. Powerful celestial energy that is evolving in the air molecules. Uh, powerful celestial energy that's evolving through the plasma molecules, through the ether molecules. Even powerful uh, uh, celestial energy that's evolving through the dark matter and the dark energy molecules across our planet, all across this realm, brothers and sisters. We are seeing a definite change in everything, in everything that uh, was to was thought to remain the same is being destroyed as we are watching their matriarchal system which is their queen die away going into a patriarchal system because one of the princes is supposed to uh, become king of the reptilians because that's all she was she was queen of the reptilians and the uh, one prince, whatever his name is, I don't know if it's going to be William or it's going to be Charles, that's going to be king of the reptilians. We shall see what will take place at this present moment. Um, the celestial energy is growing extremely, extremely high and it's becoming more powerful and it's becoming violent towards everything and every species that is non-indigenous, that is not, that is not indigenous. Every species that is not indigenous to this realm, to this planet, to this galaxy, to this universe, this energy is becoming violent to them. And they're feeling ostracized and they're feeling like there is no one to help them and there is no one to help them, which is why they are seeking to um, attempt to mate with the original beings in order to save at least a portion of their bloodline, all right? We're watching so much that's going on at this present time, brothers and sisters. And this is this is a powerful incidents, powerful events that are going on at this present day. Um, this month alone, this calendar month alone, a lot will be revealed. A whole lot will be revealed, and it will be up to us as the original beings to be able to carry out um, certain um, missions that will be uh, embarked upon us as the original people as we go through cleaning up our planet. Yes, it's not gonna happen overnight. It's gonna take a little time, but it's gonna be uh, faster than what you could have ever imagined. Let's just say that. All right. Um, there was a subscriber who asked a question and said, can you talk about the science behind us building and nature? And I responded and said, hey, you know, I did a message on that before, but we're gonna go into this again because this is important and, and it, it literally links into this message that we're currently talking about as far as um, the celestial energies because we must realize that our building and our creating helps to rebuild um, the celestial energies of the past. I'm getting radio trans transmissions right now. I'm getting radio transmissions right now. Um, it said, watch this, whoever becomes king, watch them carefully because uh, they will be, he, whichever one he is, will be working hard against the original people. All right? There's gonna be a reptilian agenda 
against the original people, which means that we're going to have to pick up the pace, brothers and sisters. We're going to have to pick up the pace. All right. We're going to have to pick up the pace because these beings are not playing around. This is no fucking game. I'm telling you now, this is no game. This is absolute reality. And you can't get no realer than the reality that we're looking at at this present moment, brothers and sisters. All right. So um, it's important that you understand that building helps to reestablish certain energies that belong to us. When we build and when we create, we um, the science behind this is that the energies, the, the ether, the plasma, the dark energy, the dark matter, all of these different um, uh, uh, elements and energies that are all around us, they strengthen us, they return to us, they build us, they create a new vessel or a new spirit and soul within us. This is the science behind it. You gotta understand that when you build as did our ancestors, you change the chemistry of our planet. All right? You change the chemistry of our planet and, you know, and the energy. So anytime you're dealing with um, energies, especially extremely high energies or in any, in, in, in any type of energy, you're dealing with chemistry. All right? So this literally upgrades the, the chemistry within you, the celestial energy that is within you and the celestial power that is within you. All of this literally um, reshapes everything about you, brothers and sisters. I mean, it, it takes you into a whole nother line, a whole nother uh, uh, power of, of, of life, a whole nother energy. Um, it takes you into a completely different state of mind, all right? And you are literally, uh, will literally become a new vessel of energy and a new vessel of power. This is what we're talking about at this present moment, brothers and sisters. This is what we're talking about. So you become a new vessel of power, a new energy, a new, uh, a, 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 a new creation. All right. The creation that you once were before you building and, and, and designing um, the creation that you were before will be upgraded and you will literally begin to uh, form into a new type of being, a new type of energy, brothers and sisters. I mean, it is so powerful. This is some powerful, powerful information, this powerful knowledge that we are embarking upon, brothers and sisters, and we are carrying ourselves into this new force, this new power, this new energy that belongs to us, all right? We are that powerful energy. So, as we go deeper within ourselves and begin building structures and designs according to the natural energies, all right, and we're talking about nature's energies, as we begin to build according to nature's energies, we find ourselves going into um, a celestial energy that cannot be measured by mankind which means that our celestial powers and our celestial abilities will begin to flourish all right things will begin to flourish things will begin to change for us we will begin to watch ourselves uh, morph um into completely different beings of nature all right and this is where we come into um a new type of power all right this is what we come into a new type of energy so um 
this is the science behind us building. We begin to regroup into a different um, type of energy. Like we said, this is this is a this is a celestial, brothers and sisters. This is literally celestial, and like we said, you know, we change the chemistry within our bodies as well as the chemistry in the atmosphere. We bring forth a new life, a new energy, all right, a new power, and we're able to see things in a completely different light, all right? We're able to see things in a completely different light and we're able to do things in a different manner than what we are, what we were doing before, all right? So this celestial energy that is that you know we are em embarking upon is a, is a powerful energy, it's a powerful force, brothers and sisters, and and this is something that we must take advantage of as the original beings. It is extremely important that we take advantage of this. This is why we talk about building and creating. Um, while I was talking, I was getting another transmission. Um, that this new king is going to be trying to censor certain things that we talk about on the internet just know that we're going to be facing a completely different foe all right they're going to be fo uh, focusing on us because they have feared our awakening all right so we have to get ready brothers and sisters because these beings are on our realm they know that nothing belongs to them they know the true powers that we have you building and creating, you open up that gateway for true kingship, for true queenship, you for the for the true powers of us being royalties on this realm. You open up those gateways. So is it, it will behoove you to understand the, 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 the forces and powers that are within you and the abilities that you possess. So, like we said, you know, the more complex your structures you build, the more complex the energy that that comes upon you. Just like, you know, we talked about the sigils. The more complex the sigils you make, the more complex the energy that, um, that, that comes upon you. And it's a powerful energy that comes upon you, brothers and sisters. It's, 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 a, it's a powerful force. And this is the science behind us building in nature because nature what well, just like we said we we change the chemistry in nature all right all those energies are what before they before they were energies they were they were uh they, they chemistry all right and this is when you start getting into alchemy all right when you start getting into alchemy and you understanding the the uh knowledge of chemistry, the knowledge of uh, of uh, different sciences that are uh, all around us, because science is happening every day, brothers and sisters. Science is literally happening every day. We are watching things shift and change. We're watching things move in motion. We're watching things um, die off and 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 come back as different forms you know it's just just like those scientists that they said they say you know this 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 creature is extinct and then all of a sudden the creature that they thought was extinct just showed up out of nowhere all right that's science this is and 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 we as the original beings we can change a lot of things through us building this is the science behind building the, between building and nature you know, and this is this is a powerful uh, 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 science that 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 we are embarking upon. All right, so I just share that with you all. But all this the celestial energies they evolving all around us. You keep staying this awakened state, brothers and sisters. You keep building. You create. You keep creating. You keep uh, developing. You keep designing. All right, and you go back into the past so that you can reshape your present. And when you reshape your present, you change the future. All right, brothers and sisters. Pass this on to you. Hope you understand, understand, overstand everything that's been said. I'll catch you guys later. You know the deal. All power to the multi-chakra, celestial, angelic beings. 
May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. And remember, chaos brings change. <laughs> Not peace. Much power to you all.